Hi there everyone, in this uh, video I am going to talk to you about something that um, buggering me for a while. Mm, about a month and a half ago I lost my top rater seller status. And that was very disappointing. I lost on the base of um, late deliveries. So I had four or five deliveries against. Although I had 700 and something uh, delivered but out of that I think it's about five of the item that people put down to late deliveries and that's the reason I lost my top rated seller status but what really the the laughable thing is the, you know makes me laugh is although I've lost my top rated sellers my sales have gone up in fact I've deliberately decided you know, I used to do two days shipping, you know, two days postage. Some cases I used to do one day postage. And I'm still doing now on my all of my listing. I turn the setting to three days, three working days. Three working days. And the funny thing is, I... S you know the sale still goes up I haven't lost a single uh, sale because it's three days shipping or three day postage but I find <clears throat> the business has gone up incredibly and what I tend to do is I'm doing the same thing as I did before although in my listing I put down three days shipping or postage within three working days but whenever I get a water, I'm doing the same thing I did pre previously, which is sent straight away. So they get this stuff. So by putting it three days, I have a leeway of, um, so when the customer gets it, oh, they think, oh, wow, what a, well, perfect. Uh, they get in, in the, 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 the mention set time. And obviously they're going to put you a good feedback. But you keep on posting your items within two working days or one working days but in in the listing you'll put down three working days so to all these sellers <coughs> excuse me to get some um, all these emails from eBay trying to tell you oh you need more listing or you need to put up more content or blah 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 change your shipping date so you get more more features or uh, in eBay algorithm things and top of your ranking and all that malarkey don't worry about it you know and the secret how I um, managed to boost up myself all I simply have done is never got angry with eBay I turned around and looked at my habits and then I realized, look, I don't care if I lose the top rated status, long as I'm getting the good feedback from the customers, and long as I'm doing the good stuff, long as I know I am providing a good service, and the customer looks at my feedback, of course they're going to come and use me, of course. Top rated seller is not an issue. So don't get hooked up on, you know, you have to be a top rated seller to sell more. No, you don't have to be a top rated seller. It looks good on your uh, homepage. You got this yellow um, kind of a stars on your side and people look at, oh, fantastic, I got a top rated seller. But get that um, behind you thinking, do not get misled. You know, you think just because you got a top rated star, that um, you are people likely to buy they will likely to buy if look in your feedback so when you're starting out new sell more of course try get to over a thousand feedback so if you can get up to certain amount of thousand feedback and whenever a customer comes in and looks at your home page and look the all the first thing they look at at your star rating which is the star on the top right hand cor uh, corner of your uh, your profile and 
they see your shop they see a red star a red star instantly means you're good because you don't get a red star doing you know literally next to nothing you get red star for something so whenever a buyer sees the red star they know they're guaranteed it's it's the human mindset is our mindset tells us this guy is good i do not need to look at anything else all i need to look at is the red star and that's it when you get beyond 500 um, feedback your yellow changes to green and goes on and on until you get to the red star people get more confidence in you they do not i whenever i buy of um, things from ebay for example i do not look at the only thing i look at is the rating so um apply the cautious card but um this is how you shouldn't worry about just because you lose your top rated seller is is the end of all no 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 it's not the end of the world so the the way i have picked up is basically i decided to do things opposite so i know it take me um couple of more months hard work to get the top rated seller back again that's okay because in the meantime what i'm doing i'm promoting more all of my listings so i have 500 listings or so i promote them i pay extra money to ebay to promote my listing so in that case ebay is always putting my list top of the packing order when you come to advertising they're putting it top up there so um what was see if you are a top rated seller what guarantees you they will put your list in top of the packing order that doesn't guarantee that does it because there's so many other top sellers about and not everyone is using pay advertising in ebay promoting listing not everybody's doing it so if you're thinking of promoting your listing go ahead it does improve your sales in my case which it did improve my sales and eBay want you to do that. eBay want you to, end of the day, eBay is there to make revenue from themselves and look after their customers and the sellers. So, so in, in the interest of eBay, they will promote your listing because you're paying for it. Right? So, if you have a, the only thing you worry about on a top rated seller is the percentage you will get at the end of the your sell the discount they offer you but you don't have to worry if you are selling say a couple of hundred items you don't have to worry about that if you are a huge seller with thousands and thousands of listing then it would make difference to your end bill you know the end of the month uh, the invoice you get from eBay that will literally and it will make a difference to your listing if you've got a 10,000 listing, 12,000, 25,000 listing beyond. You know, I'm talking about big, big, massive sellers. Then it's in their interest to stay top rated seller because that will be literally a serious amount of money they will get from eBay on promotion, you know, being a top rated seller. So uh, like you and me with a couple of hundred listing, don't worry about it even if you lose your um, top rated seller. The only way to get back is start promoting and it does not cost uh, arm and a leg to promote your listing on eBay. Um, look at, uh, go and study their promotion. Uh, if you go to Sellers Hub and on the left hand side you will see a promotion manager um, and then go on from there learn there's so much resources out there how to promote your listing how to do this how to do that. go and learn and if you do lose it don't worry about it keep on the good works and keep whatever you're doing keep on doing it and don't get intimidated by ebay oh you have to be do this or you have to do that it's in their interest of any company to push you to do hard and don't get fixated looking at your um, summary and they give you all this um, 
graphs and everything else. If you're happy with what you're doing, carry on with it. Don't look at the graph and uh, get all crazy about it because the graph only wants you to push, 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 push. It's, you know, that's what they want you to do. But do things on your own way, on your own term, and you'll succeed. You do not need somebody else to boost you and tell you, oh, I need to list so-and-so to get so-and-so sell. You do not need to do that. If you've got a great, uh, if you've got a great shop, great item, something people are after, then people will buy it. Simple as that. And whenever you selling stuff, make sure you do your homework properly, research properly, and buy the stuff people are after. Don't buy, start chunking whole places out and thinking, oh, this is going to sell and that's and the end up, it doesn't sell. So thank you for, uh, thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other videos. Please click like and subscribe button and I'll put a link uh, underneath the video. Please go and check out my um, eBay store and check out a few other things I have down there. So once again, thank you so much.